Fond du Lac Police Department will host an annual run. And the run benefits their canine unit. Emily Deem is live with more. Hi, Em. Good morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everybody. Yeah, that run walk is coming up March 16th. And this morning, we're going to show you what some of the proceeds have gone to and what they're going to be going for for the K-9 unit at the Fond du Lac Police Department. I have Officer Ben Hardgrove here with me and Officer Ryan Williams. Um, let's start with you, Ben, because there is something that was purchased that really helped your department. Tell me about what you purchased a year before the Fond du Lac shooting that happened March 20th in 2011. We actually purchased these vests that I'm wearing and Ryan's wearing one as well and helmets to go along with it. They're ballistic tactical, tactical vests, excuse me. And why did you want to purchase these? What was uh, on your mind for getting these? Well, being with the, uh, the canine unit and working a dog, anytime there's a, there's a high risk call, whether it be a, a weapons call or someone we're looking for that's wanted, um, we put ourselves in a line of danger, obviously. And we felt the need that we have normal ballistic vests for patrol. But we wanted to increase our odds of coming across higher caliber weapons, um, which is what these vests are designed for. Yeah, tell me how they are and, and what's in the front and what's in the back that protects you. In the front and the back, there is a, uh, a plate that's probably, well, you can kind of see it here. It covers the main portions of my chest, you know, the heart, the lung area. And there's one in the back as well that's strong enough to, you know, stop two or three rifle rounds, basically, as well as the uh, extra Kevlar that's around the outside as well. Um, and it was a good idea that Ben wanted to purchase these because, um, Officer Williams, you were actually saved. Your life was saved by one of the vests, and you actually have it here with you this morning. So can you show us the vest that you were wearing the day of the shooting and tell us about this? Well, this is actually the vest that I was wearing. And uh, so I, we got this, these uh, about a year before uh, I was actually shot in it. And if you can see right here, this is actually the entrance. This is a 308 round. It's a, it's a very large round for a rifle. It went in here. You can barely see where it went in. But once it went through, started going through bulletproof material and stuff, it actually went out here. So even though this is more protection, um, it ended up going through this vest as well as my vest that was underneath this vest. Mm -hmm. So, but it, it slowed down the bullets enough so it didn't cause damage. Here's the second shot. The first shot kind of sent me, uh, spun me around. The, first, the second shot went right here in my shoulder and then it went out right here in the back. And it didn't go through as much bulletproof material so it made a smaller hole but it did cause more damage in my back uh, when I was shot with it. And you also purchased the helmet that you're wearing too. That the helmets too, yep, they go, they go with it. I mean, we can take shrapnel or rounds in the head just as, just as well as we can take them in the stomach or vest. Can you show me what you use on calls to bring Grendel, your canine out that you have on your belt? Well, we have this little fella here that uh, opens up the door and our dog will come to our aid. I'm Wow. Whenever we need them. So it's kind of like we have backup with us wherever we go. It's a nice little security function that, uh, that we carry with us. You know, if, someone, if we're out on the road on a call and someone attacks us or something like that, we can just hit that button and the dog, will, it, dog is trained to come to our aid. Well, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Uh, really great to see where these proceeds are going to and what they purchased. You can learn more about the run walk on our website. We'll send it back to you for now. Really interesting. Thanks, Sam.